What's up everybody, Jesse, Slot City Fishing. Today we're gonna do the one year review of the Pelican 130 uh, High Drive, Pelican 130 HD. Um, it, it's been some ups and downs, man. Bro, check this out, man. It happened again. These kayaks are, they're a piece, man. Uh, we're gonna get into it. We keep it real on this channel, always honest reviews. Uh, I'm not endorsed in any way by Pelican, even though I got a big YouTube channel. We bought these things with our own money, and uh, I'm giving you my honest uh, feedback after one year. You may have seen the previous video that I made about this thing where the high drive broke. All right, so I'm gonna get a lot of I told you so's from a lot of people in this video in the comments. I hate to say it, but you were right, you were right. I guess we're gonna do it the old fashioned way now. And the water out there on a fishing trip and Pelican was really cool and polite and they sent us out uh, another drive. They've actually sent us out multiple drives now. Um, yeah, so let's talk about the kayak first. Um, if you've never seen one of these things before, if you're a previous owner uh, or a current owner or whatever, this is probably not new information for you, but we probably got some guys considering buying this kayak and they still sell these things in the store and people are selling them on Marketplace. Um, so when we start talking about the drives, to my knowledge, Pelican will send you out a drive uh, if, you're, if your high drive breaks for everyone, not just me because I got a big YouTube channel. So I'm, I, I'm cautioning you to buy this thing used because what probably happened is the person got a brand new drive in the box uh, and they're trying to just get that thing, get rid of it. So they got a new drive and they're trying to sell you that kayak to, to, get, it, to get it off their hands to buy another kayak. Um, so um, yeah, you got handles all around it. Uh, they do what they're supposed to do. They're, it's nice, you got a front tank well. There's no hatch up here. Some people mod it and put a hatch. You got four gear tracks. It comes with a paddle, thank God, because I ended up using that thing a whole lot more than I thought that I was going to. Uh, the seat is very comfortable, no complaints there. It's got four forward-facing rod, ho uh, rod holders and one forward-facing rod holder, which I actually really like this forward-facing rod holder. It's got a big tank well in the back. I put my crate in there, and then there's a small dry hatch. Then you got the rudder. It works on this uh, pulley or like cable system, and it's, it's not the easiest to use, uh, but it does what it's supposed to and then when you do get it down you put it into this cleat right here and that is supposed to hold it in but it doesn't work very well the, the uh that paracord or whatever it is it slides through that cleat a lot and uh you'll be going and not able to turn uh using your rudder control right here and it's because your rudder came out of the water you just put it back down and that's not a huge deal that small complaint uh, i'm fine with that uh, the bad thing with these drives and uh, i got a lot of questions in the previous video i'm going to try to answer a few of them um, did pelican like fix the situation i would say yes and no so they have a new version of the high drive out now it's called the high drive 2 and i wrote written wrote I wrote them another email um, saying, hey, I know that you got a new version of the high drive out. Can you send it to us? Because the high drive version one has broken on us a bunch of times. I'll show you some clips where, it, you know, they keep on breaking. Well, guys, my drive broke. Same exact way uh, Jesse's did. Yeah, the, the threads in there pulled right out. I wasn't even hitting the bottom or anything, just paddling down the middle and the threads pulled out. I didn't have like one bad experience and I made a, a negative video to get a bunch of views. Like, no, this is a continuous thing. So, um, so this is uh, where the drives break. It's, there's a brass insert uh, where the fin mass screws down into the sprocket. Uh, 
and that brass strips out and I've tried fixing it a bunch of different ways <clears throat> like brand new out the box I'll take the the uh, fin mast out put Loctite on it tighten it down like torque it as tight as I can uh, without stripping it letting it cure all that and the threads still pull out of it and you can see now we're on one two three four drives I uh, basically like use the the graveyard to like fix the the ones that uh, I can salvage just a bunch of spare parts and uh, when you're out there man that's the last thing that you want to do is have to worry about your drive breaking man because sometimes I'm like reluctant to go kayak fishing and I just take my boat out instead because I'm planning on these things to break and it just it ruins the whole experience when you're out there and you're having to worry about whether or not your drive is going to break and then if it does break it pretty much kills your trip right then because you're no longer hands-free fishing you got to use the paddle and all that stuff so uh yeah that's the problem with the drives and why i just bought this hobie drive and here's the deal man i paid a thousand bucks for that 250 bucks for that drive so right there i'm at 1250 not including tax not including if you put a price tag on the labor uh, you know, put into like me having to fix these things. So if you quantify that, you know, how much would you pay uh, to not have to deal with all of that headache? You know, to me, I would say an, uh, an additional $500, $1,000. That's pretty reasonable. Add that to it. You're around, you know, $2,250, pushing $2,500. You could buy a brand new Hobie for that much. You could buy a really nice used Hobie for that much. Uh, and then you wouldn't have to worry about any of these problems at all so like like i said in the beginning of this video like the kayaks are cheap but like that cheap price tag comes with that cost man you're gonna have to deal with a lot of stuff uh if you buy one of these kayaks yeah they send you out the old drive not the new one so that doesn't really fix the problem because it's gonna break on you again and it's gotten to the point now where i bought this trolling motor by dan strong outdoors it fits down into the cassette hole um, I haven't used it a whole bunch yet because instead of using a regular like AGM deep cycle battery, I want to get a lithium ion battery for it uh, because big deep cell batteries weigh like 100 pounds um, and I don't want to, you know, carry all that weight around. So I'm trying to find a good lithium ion battery. If y'all got suggestions, man, please uh, comment and let me know. I'm looking at the VMAX. Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> that was one question. Another question was, uh, can you put Hobie parts on it to fix it? Um, the answer is no. Um, I bought these sprockets from Fin Factory uh, down in Corpus Christi, Texas. Shout out to those guys, they're awesome. It's a Hobie dealer. But I bought the V1 parts to put on the high drive to hopefully fix it. They're not interchangeable, so that's not an option for you. And uh, what we ended up doing is uh, I'm gonna use that trolling motor and then we bought this uh, V1 Mirage drive. It's a Hobie drive off of our Facebook group. Uh, it's got like 3,000 members in it, and uh, one of them was local, and he gave me a great deal on that drive. So uh, I paid 250 bucks for that Mirage drive, which is a killer, killer deal. Like, don't expect to find that very often. And he only gave me that deal because uh, he's a subscriber to the channel. He likes our stuff. But I also gave him a whole bunch of fishing gear, like partial trade for this thing too, stuff that companies have sent me. So, uh, yeah. The, the high the high drives it's not it's not good man um when we do use these things now uh i use the mirage drive and nick takes out two high drives because we're expecting them to break like we plan our trips now around the high drives breaking which is not acceptable to me when when you make a expensive purchase like that a thousand dollars you know plus tax um yeah so um I don't know. I, I hope that Pelican sees this and they send us a high drive too, because really that's the only complaints that we have about these kayaks. Like the rudder thing, not a big deal, man. Like I'm reasonable. Like we know that this isn't the same quality as a Hobie kayak and we were cool with that. We bought it like, Hey, this thing can't be that bad. You know, in reality, it gets you out on the water. You're fishing, you're having a good time. Uh, so, uh, yeah, if they if they just followed up and I feel like as a business and me as a customer like that should be if they have a solution to the problem They should provide that to your to your customers not just sending out 
you know, old stock of like all these ones that are going to break again. So the Pelican Catch 130 HD version one, I know there's a new one and I got a comment last time was like, hey, there's a new version. Stop talking about this. Well, people are still buying this thing and they're buying it used. And I felt like it was uh, important for me to make this video for you guys and tell you my experience. Um, yeah. Hopefully this was good information for you. If you enjoyed it, subscribe to our channel. Uh, we got a lot of other content, how to's reviews, and we're about to hit a big 10,000 subscriber giveaway where a whole bunch of companies have come on board and there's gonna be a lot of cool prizes. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it valuable, leave some comments and likes that helps uh, us grow the YouTube channel uh, in the analytics and all that kind of stuff you've probably heard about. But yeah, appreciate you guys and uh, we'll see you next time.